They're shot. They take the wheel. This is uh, based on a comic book, right? But it's yep. not a comic book I'm familiar with. Me neither. It's a number of years, actually, since I've read a comic book. Because <laughs> uh, you had been offered several of these big, kind of high-profile uh, movies that involve special effects in the last couple of years, which you've turned down. Yeah. What, what was it about this one that you said, well, I want to do this? Well, I, uh, I turned this one down, too, when I first read it, because uh, it was... Um, too much of a jump, I thought, mm. taking these all these literary characters. Everybody knows who don't have to read comics to know who they're in it, who, who's in it. But uh, and then I, it kept coming back to me, and uh, then I thought, well, I'll read it again and go through. And then I thought, well, as Hitchcock used to say, it's only a movie. <laughs> I, uh, I thought, God, yeah, if you could make all this work, it would be could be, should be, right. terrific fun. So, uh, now explain a little bit, because uh, I'm not familiar with the comic, but the, you join up with this League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, yeah. are these great uh, sort of characters from, from literature, right? Yeah, that's right. You know, we've got uh, Captain Nemo, and um, Alan Quartermain, and uh, Dorian Gray, you know, Oscar Wilde's mm -hmm. character, whose portrait, uh, he doesn't age, but the portrait does. Indeed. And uh, the Invisible Man and uh, a lady vampire, uh, Mrs. It's Peter Wilson, but it's uh, I can't remember her name and right. character. Who now? Who do you all fight in this in this film? Well, of course, there's this sort of villain, you know, this the Phantom that always is, and uh, it's the world domination from uh, the end of the uh, 19th century, right. 1888, around when when everything was. Uh, pretty. There was no tanks, there were no machine guns, there was no really advanced weapons of warfare. And, uh, but this guy's got the secret. And so, to fight against this man, the, uh, the British, of course, Imperial Britain, <laughs> uh, dig us up. Mm -hmm. And they have somebody to lead them and guard them and they have to take them. Uh, to fight with in the submarine of Captain Nemo, Nemo. and in his car, and we go all over the world to uh, so Venice, Russia. Had you ever made a movie with so many special effects before? And what was that like? Well, the, the special effects are uh, and visual effects are stunning, but um, it's you never know what you're getting. I mean, one of the reasons I gave up the James Bond films, uh, apart from not getting enough money, was the. Um, <laughs> The fact that they introduced far too much technological stuff, right? And it became wizardry. And uh, but and they've bec they've come such a long way now. They can do almost anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, get rid of actors soon. <laughs> it's not all bad, I suppose. <laughs> Now, th you had all kinds of weather problems in Prague. Now, there were also r rumors of uh, real tension on, on, on the set. Was there real tension on the set? Yes, yes, there was real tension. <laughs> Absolutely. Wrestling with the director tension? Oh, no, no. If, if there'd been a wrestling match, he wouldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's all this talk again now about a new Indiana Jones movie. Mm. Are you, are you going to be involved in that, or well, are they I, called, or I are you waiting know. for the phone to ring? No, no. I mean, I would adore to do it again. It's unfortunate if um, Steven Spielberg isn't doing it, but um, I adored working with Harrison, and it was fun. I mean, it's one of the best souvenirs I had of uh, really first-class professional Actors, director, but everything about the movie worked, yeah, and yeah. it was fun. 